<laughs> Could it be? Are you ready for this? Could it be? Could it be you're in love? Well, for sure. You are the romance in the zodiac. You're the fifth house, natural fifth house. But could it be one-sided? Well, of course. That's a choice that you made. You made your bed at this point. You see that? Pouring to a cup, trying to get someone to love them. You know, you're not desperate, but you like someone. And you're pouring your efforts here. And it feels like there it is. The card of feeling lonely. Why me? Why I never get the love of my life? Relationship, I'm never lucky. That's the hermit. Okay. You have questions that you basically ask God about love and relationship. You pray. You pray a lot about this. You feel like you're, I have to be honest here with the hermit, that age is a factor. Meaning for you, it's just like, oh, I'm getting older. You probably want to get married. Or I'm getting older. I want to have kids. You know, like that. Age is a factor for some people. Because you feel like this is a never-ending story. Okay, Leos, let's begin. I'll be talking about, uh, there's an extended reading to this. I'll be talking about the upcoming eclipse. And remember how I teach here, uh, my house, my house, no. Um, the eclipse is coming on the 24th, but it doesn't mean that you only experience it on the 24th. By now, it's already here. How, what you're doing is already affected. Who you are is already affected. There are changes in your life. All those we will discuss. Okay. So, the Ace of Cups is here, okay, which for you, where's your chart, okay, all right, there we go. So, for you, it could be unpredictable, right, it is in the 8th house, um, for you, Rahu is in the 8th, Rahu in the 8th is a mystic, you know, if you have this in your chart, your intuition, you're good at investigating right now, you're probably doing a lot of research, you yeah. This is a card also of someone who can play um, like different roles. Yes. Like these are normally good for agent, double agent like that. You know, like they can swing both ways, you know, meaning agent, sorry. But if you swing both ways, whatever you want, okay. <laughs> Ace of Cups here with the Four of Cups in the Hermit. It looks like you are looking for a relationship. You have Saturn and Sun, Mercury in your seven, right? But then the eclipse happen all of a sudden in the in the eighth house. You gotta be careful. Accidents prone to accidents is eighth house. Accident can be as big or as small. You could hit your feet by the corner of the bed. That's an accident, right? So um, when we say accident, you don't have to think about like, oh my god, no. You're chopping some vegetables. Look what you're doing. Pay attention. It is something that happens all of a sudden, and not only that. You could accidentally also fall in love, Ace of Cups. A lot of people mentality when they say when they hear accident is negative. But you can accidentally fall in love. You didn't expect to fall in love, and there it is, Ace of Cups. So a person who has gained or whose mind is open, they don't listen and interpret and judge. They listen, they process, and they never judge. That's when you know you're at the point in your life where you use your wisdom and your experience. If you still listen, process, and then judge, you haven't grown because you are not supposed to judge. You're just supposed to process. The problem with humans is they like to judge. So the accident that's going to happen to you is you're going to fall in love out of nowhere. Rahu brings this to you. Why? You ask yourself why. The nodes goes reverse. From Aries, it went to Pisces. Then from Pisces, it's going to go to your seventh house in a matter of a year. So, of course, you're going to say, this is useless. It's a year prediction. That is a future prediction. If I tell you you're going to be a millionaire, you're not going to happen this year. It's going to happen next year. Oh, okay, then it's fine. I'm good with that, Sal. Next year? Exactly. So, if it benefits you, you like it, right? Yes. It will benefit you, but not the way that you want it. So, listen. Ace of Cups with the Four of Cups with the Hermit, you didn't expect it. You're single. Probably felt like, you know, I'm never going to fall in love. Hermit. No disrespect to age, but the hermit is old, right? And it looks old. So you feel like, oh, time has passed. You know, time has passed. No, it's not. Is there? You're going to fall in love with someone. You don't know what hit you. And that's an accident. 
Hmm. <laughs> is it an X? Ooh. Is it? Three of Cups right here. Ace of Pentacles. Someone reaches out, Earth sign, Water sign, Virgo right there. Well, someone can be also in the medical field. Let's say Ace of Pentacles. This is an engagement. I've done so many readings about someone getting engaged. Personal clients, yes. They do get engaged. Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups right here because this is a reunion. People are celebrating. So what's the celebration? Someone wants to take this serious. Not you. Not you. They are. They're coming. But of course you're going to say, this does not make sense. I'm single. Right. Of course. Of course you are. Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. I don't want anybody. I just want my coins, my stability. Of course. For sure. For sure. Coins is coming though. And this is what it, the price told you. You don't expect it, but you get it. Right? Like this. Attachment, which is a devil card. Magnetic attraction. Chemistry is there. Possessiveness. Desire. And a lot of things here with the devil card. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. Now, it can be a Capricorn also. Mm -hmm. Give me a Capricorn. You're gonna fall in love, darling. Queen of Cups can be concerned. Oh, and the eclipse on the 24th. I specifically chose for the Leos a very unique, out of all the crystals, out of all the 12 signs, yours is the most unique. Because I chose pyrite for you. It's called the fool's gold, okay? Because Leo has a tendency to get fooled when they're in love, okay? So during the time that it was the mining, you know, mining here gold rush in, uh, in California, they thought that pyrite was gold. But then they realized it's not. But it attracts luck. It's also protective. It's masculine energetically. And I added citrine so to amp that luck, okay? So make sure to check out your Zodiac Piao. And this is what I'm very excited about because I like to give gifts. So everybody gets this, whoever gets their Zodiac, um, uh, you know, Piao, my Obsidian and Citrine, okay? So you're going to get this. You wear it prior to the eclipse, the 24th. You don't just wear it on the 24th. The earlier, the better because you need to protect yourself from the malefic, inauspicious energy that the eclipse will bring. Right now, I'm already cleansing the house. I have to declutter. I have to remove the energies because there's going to be a lot of energies and I don't want to deal with those a lot of energies. I want to remove it, okay? So, make sure. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. This is free shipping in the U.S. Now, hmm, hmm, hmm. there will be an unhealthy attachment here in this relationship. Mm -hmm. You'll find yourself obsessed with someone that you probably will never obsess. It was never your type. They were married or they're in a relationship. You're not one of those people who will, um, you know, be involved with someone who's already in a relationship, but it's here. Mm -hmm. Can be Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer. Let me see your person. Or another Leo. So it feels like you are struggling here, resisting whoever this person is. You like someone. You're trying to resist. They're also trying to resist this. It's almost as if like it is a forbidden kind of relationship. It could be taboo. Don't know your preference. You know? And I don't care, actually. I don't know, but I don't care about it. You do whatever you want with your life. Now, it could be a boss. You fall in love all of a sudden with your superior. It's right here. So that's taboo also. Again, don't judge. Don't jump into conclusion. Just listen and process. Okay? Now, your person will stop to talk to you. So you're going to get mixed signals. Oh, okay. And then there it is, the truth about you will feel like swept off your feet. And for some, you will be, oh, okay. For some, you were ghosted by this person. Oh, I see it so much. Okay. There's a Sag, Aries. Okay, here we go. Now, to find out more about this reading, link in the comments in the description box for the extended reading. 
I'll see you guys again. Make sure to check out, of course, your Zodiac PL while it's still available. Have a wonderful day.